Today, I'll show you how to do your Femex crypto taxes. Hello, my name is Nelly. Welcome back to another wallet integration video. If you're not having deja vu, I have covered this wallet before. Um, we're just making some updates because some things have changed and we wanna make sure that it's you know up to date and correct um, for our users. So this is a bit of a redo, I guess, video, um, but I'll tell you a little bit about this exchange. Then I'll show you the new kind of updated integration. Nothing crazy here, just some minor updates that we definitely needed to make a second video for. And then I'll show you how to get the necessary tax documentation. And then lastly, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, I'll leave a bunch of different resources. But without further ado, let's jump into today's video. So Femex was founded in Singapore in 2019. They are a derivative platform. You can trade altcoins, um, bitcoins with leverage, and obviously spot trading. Femex calls himself the fastest crypto um, currency and derivatives exchange on the market. They're claiming that their website can handle 300,000 transactions. If that's true, it's very impressive and it makes sense why they're doing so well as a platform. Alrighty, that's enough about them. Let me show you the integration part of this video. So first step, as always, log into your Coinlink account. If you don't have one, no worries. You can make one completely free. Um, once you're logged in, go into the wallets area and click on add wallet. We're looking for Femex. So we have two different options. Uh, I would strongly recommend the API route because um, there's quite a few different CSV files if you do wanna go uh, with that option. So anyways, we'll start off with that and then obviously I'll show you the other, one, the other way as well. So click on set up auto sync and we're looking for the API key and the API secret. Okay, so on their platform, in the top right corner, you have a little profile icon. We wanna click on that, or I guess hover over it, and then we wanna click on API management from the drop-down menu. Uh, and then from here, in the top right corner, it says create new API key. Um, and from this little menu, we wanna click default API entry, even though this one's recommended, this is the one we're looking for. And we wanna give it a name, call it something like Coinly. Um, IP address for security reasons, um, please bind your IP. We actually don't want to, to bind this. And then here, the last part says, please select the permission, um, read only, and then we have trade permission. Coinly is not interested in touching your funds um, or trading with your crypto. So obviously click the read only one, and then make sure to get your verification code entered here. So once you've entered that verification code, we have the ID, so copy and paste that under API key. And then we have the API secret and copy and paste that under API secret and click secure import. And there you have it. So that's one route you can take. And I strongly recommend that one because the second one is quite a bit of a pain to be honest. Um, but I'll show you anyways, of course, if you'd like to do that, um, go back into your ad wallet area, find Femex and this time click import from file. And then I'll show you which files you need from their platform. Okay, so Nelly from the future here, this section of the video needs to be updated because the platform has been updated as well so before videos get updated actually this integration blog gets updated first so if you're watching this and you want to make sure you have the latest and greatest before the video comes out definitely check out this um, integration page where you'll have detailed written explanation of all the various CSV files you need to get so yeah let's jump into which files you need and where to get them so let's start off with the first file which everyone is going to need it is the withdrawals report we're gonna log into our Femex account click on assets, click on withdraw. And then in the bottom corner here, we're gonna click on view all. And here we have two different options. So if you want to, you know, if you only have this platform for about a year, you can click generate withdrawals report and you can select one year. Keep in mind that it'll take one day to get this file and it'll be up for seven days. However, if you've had this platform for a longer period of time, no worries, you're just going to need several different files. So this time you would click on export withdrawal history and then you would select a custom time frame. You might be only able to do three months. Uh, I'm not quite sure if that's true still and it, it might not be true when you're watching this video. Let's just test it out right now. So it looks like you can do longer than three months, but uh, here it still says uh, three. So double check with this, not a problem. If it's only three months, then you're going to need to download several files depending on you know how many years you've had this platform. So um, if you've had this platform for two years, let's say, that means you're probably going to need eight files. So make sure to export your entire transaction or your entire withdrawal history so um, Coinly can calculate your capital gains and losses. So that's the first file. Okay, so let's move on into the second file. This is the wallet funds report. We're gonna go into assets. We're gonna go into funds details. And then here we have funds already selected. 
and we also have spot wallet selected. And same rule as before, if you are only looking for a year worth of transactions, this is the best route. If you're looking for more than that, you're going to need several files and you're gonna click export spot history. Let's move on into the uh, trade funds report. So we're not actually going too far. So we're gonna go up and click on contract trade accounts. Keep in mind that these transactions, contract trades and investment account, this is only if you do these transactions. If you don't do them, then obviously you won't need these files. So anyways, same thing as before, for one year, the best route is this um, option here, um, generate contract history report. For longer than that, you're going to need several files and you're gonna to want to click export contract history. Okay, moving on to the next one. Obviously, like I said earlier, if you have these kinds of transactions, then you would want to get this file. If not, don't worry about it. So we're gonna click on investment account and then we're gonna click for one year this one for anything else, you're probably gonna to want to go down this route. And one final file, which is the spot trading history, which most people are probably going to need. We're gonna to want to go into, um, uh, same thing as before, we're gonna click on spot history. And then from this drop down menu, we want to click on trade history. And then once again, for one year, this is the uh, best option for anything longer than that. You're probably gonna need several files and you're going to want to do it this way. I guess alternatively, you can also get the last year for, for this um, from this menu. And then if you want to go further back, you can generate custom reports um, for as many years as you need for as many years as you've had this account. Then you're going to take those files and drag and drop them into Coinly and click import. I'm only showing one here just for this example, but you're probably going to have several files. And once you're done that, um, your entire history has been uploaded to Coinly. But once you've imported the data, regardless of which route you chose, hopefully you chose the easier option, um, go into the transactions area. And here you can see uh, kind of underneath the hood of what's going on, making sure that all your transactions are you know, sitting correctly with you. And obviously if you've done any staking, making sure that stuff is tagged correctly, sent to pool, sent from pool. Um, once you're happy with that, go into the tax reports area and here you get a summary of all your crypto activity throughout the year, your capital gains, your P&L, your income, your costs and expenses, all that juicy information. And then when you're happy with that, scroll on down and select a tax report appropriate for your needs. And we have plenty of different tax reports as you see on the screen before you. For the US, we have the IRS Schedule D, Form 8949. You can also export TurboTax both online and desktop versions. We have reports for UK, Sweden, Norway, France, Australia, Switzerland, um, and then Canada, Germany, other countries. We have the complete tax report, which keep in mind is a document you can print off and give directly to an accountant to combine with your other tax documentation. Or alternatively, you can invite them to Coinly to set up their account seat firm here with us. And then lastly, what I tell everyone is check your country's rules and regulations because this tax report might be deductible. But that'll about do it for today. If you have a bunch of questions, uh, I'm going to leave you with a bunch of different resources. We have the Coinly Help Center with countless crypto tax related articles. We have a forum section where you can talk to members of our community as well as our staff. We have a feedback section if you're having any issues with our software. And then lastly, we have a contact section if you'd like to send us a message directly. But I hope you found this video helpful. It was a bit of a longer one today. Um, if you did, consider dropping a like, subscribing for more crypto content, and I'll see you next time. Peace.